upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was gray. Until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening day, when looking for some place to play, Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell.
1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Oh, crap. Not another interruption. I mean, I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, dude. So, can I help you? 1015. Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped, so the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After I finish counting, of course. Finally awake! My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. That coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spidarian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, everyone! Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well, um, that your girlfriend is likely dead. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spiderian sewer first.
We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you, I get it. Ren's nickname? We all call her the slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger, you know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Not sure where she hid it, though. Told you, bud. You f I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. I just saw Ren. Yeah, a man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay, quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Parkour. Up here, Pete. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. So, yeah, I'm busy. Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Still trying to work that out. Yep, Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Meet us there if you want to help find his dad.
space! Get over here and help me! I'm stuck! Isn't it obvious, Puke? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. Give me my sewing needle, Puke Bart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. What are you, stupid? Ever since your precious little wren went missing, things have gotten strange. So hurry up! If you don't get me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are gonna bite my face off! In the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? facility. This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend, Red. There's no question science can't answer. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, yes, all of these facts are definitely strange. Last, 
My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. I should get back to work. Goodbye, Pete. Nothing a day's reading and research can handle. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Sent a spider. Length, three miles. Age, one week. Properties, deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. Notes, elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What is that thing? It was that thing again. That thing had taken Ren. Don't be mad. I'm just a child. But his wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving, and I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. Perfect treat. A snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin look young again.
Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. Let's just keep moving. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I think that might be a grown-up. Precious Wren is dead. You're kidding, right? You roll me through sand and expect me to be nice. I don't know. How about don't make me mad, idiot, and I'll be nice. No wonder Wren ran off and got herself kidnapped. She couldn't stand you. Rogan Boisa. You seen him around? Where's the F for F? What, darn? He tricked me. I don't think he wish I could beat his butt. I am sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him, though, on those eggs. Maybe if I had that bat, though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? Yeah, swing that bat when you jump. And you can go a bit higher like a cool kid.
thingy. Is it wearing an apron? Sure. Whatever, dude. Ha! Yeah! You...
dude. I'm so confused. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gumboys are talking about this a week ago. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. That can't be. Anyways, Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. They apparently know how to sing. Ha! <laughs> exactly. Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. Kinda freaked me out. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. <laughs> Three thousand twenty-one, three thousand twenty-two. I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah, I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. Parkour. Where you been, dude? Jeez. Sorry. Forget I asked. Yeah, you heard me right. 